uh, or all of those that you are here tonight, uh, welcome. Uh, I don't know if we're people afraid of the uh, the weather or whatnot, but we're glad to have you here, and uh, hopefully you'll have a, a lot of fun tonight. Um, we're bringing new music, different music than we've brought the last three or four times. Um, we're also bringing a quartet that is uh, performed with us uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're a uh, an acapella quartet. They do some great music, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun listening to them a little bit later on. Um, before we get started, uh, you may not may or may not know that uh, the uh, community center had uh, had some water damage done in one of the freezing pipes a few weeks ago. Uh, so that uh, if you have need to use the restroom, uh, probably uh, these are definitely locked out and closed. Uh, the one side would suggest is on the other side of where the uh, receptionist, there's a men's and a women's locker there, so if you need to use restrooms, I would encourage you to use those. Um, before we get started, I'd also like to uh, give credit that uh, some of our expenses are also covered by the Harwich Cultural Council uh, via a grant. Um, it doesn't cover all of our expenses, but uh, it's helpful and you know we need all the help we can get in that regard. Tonight we've got a, a very diverse uh, concert for you. We're going to start it off with a, a tune, an upbeat tune, that uh, was the theme song for American Bandstand called Bandstand Boogie. Uh, believe it or not, it was written way back in 1954, but at that time it was just an instrumental. Uh, 1977, um, they're warming up. <laughs> Barry, Barry Manilow uh, added uh, uh, some uh, words to it, and that's probably the more uh, uh, famous uh, version that uh, uh, you've heard. So, Bandstand Boogie.
Well, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we try to make sure everybody's awake before we get going, so that, that ought to have done that. Um, solos on that, we're uh, Jim Corbett here on tenor sax right in front. And two trombone, sax, uh, tr trombone solos were uh, Tom Yonke and Larry Dingman up here. Our next piece uh, is a Duke Ellington uh, tune from 1940 uh, called Do Nothing Till You Hear From Me. It was originally just an instrumental, but in 1944, uh, lyrics were added and a number of notable singers, uh, none the least of which is our vocalist tonight, Linda Delore, uh, will uh, give you your, our, her rendition of it. Okay. Do Nothing Till You Hear From Me. Yay! Are here. How cool is that? Get them up here to sing over. That's right. Two uh, in the uh, in the band, 
And one of the songwriters, uh, our trombonist Larry Dingman, uh, has written a piece called Toot Sweet. And this is the uh, maiden preview of the piece. This is the first time it's been uh, actually played in public. Uh, we've played it in practice and other bands have, but this is the first time we're actually playing it out in public. So, Toot Sweet. Hey. 
face. And drive her once more round the block. Never mind the ticket or the clock.
performed by John Shaw. John, take a bow. John. I've always got these show us around here. I always got to get the last word. Huh? You know? I thought we were all going to change you on Friday. It's a nice deal. Yeah, there you go. Did a solo over here, uh, multi talented Carl. What's his name? Carl. <laughs> Carl Pearl. I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> Car Carl keeps the average age of the band uh, down around 90, I guess, or something. <laughs> Believe it or not, this band is 94 years old. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Uh, our next piece is a beautiful Duke Ellington uh, number from 1932. Uh, the name of the tune is Sophisticated Lady. And the history behind that, apparently uh, the, uh, the Duke was uh, very uh, appreciative of uh, some of his grade school te teachers. Uh, and uh, he wrote this as a tribute uh, to them. So, Sophisticated Lady. You didn't know that, did you? No, neither did I. <laughs>
lead alto on that was Lori Lang. Beautiful. <laughs> Next piece is a uh, new one. This is the first time we'll be, we'll be playing it tonight, uh, but it's a tribute to uh, uh, to Frank Sinatra. Uh, as most of you know, he's celebrating his 100 years of life and post-life. And uh, we're going to do a beautiful tune by Cole Porter, written in 1936. Uh, Sinatra actually first recorded in 46, but the arrangement that you'll be hearing is a big band arrangement that he did with Nelson Riddle in 1956. Uh, I've got you under my skin. Uh, 
Um, and I'll introduce them as a group. I won't explain where they got their name from, I'll leave that all up to them. But they're an acapella group that uh, started from some of the bigger acapella groups on the Cape. And why don't you please welcome, who's the boss? Oh, it's a 
for you. Uh, this is a, a little medley. Take us back many, many years, back to New York City. I'm sure you'll recognize.
tribute to Frank Sinatra. Uh, this piece was originally written in 1922. Uh, at the time, the, the name of the song was Chicago, that Toddlin town. I never knew it was that, but that's what it was called. In 1957, uh, Mr. Sinatra made it one of his uh, favorites and one of his most popular. And Tom Yankee is going to give us his rendition of Chicago.
Oh, excuse me. Our next piece is uh, actually uh, Duke Ellington's signature song, a tune called Take the A Train, uh, featuring Linda again on vocals. Uh, the piece is a 1939 uh, collaboration between Billy Strayhorn and, uh, and the Duke. Uh, again, this is one of those tunes that was uh, initially an instrumental and then uh, lyrics were added in 1944 and probably the most famous recording was Ella Fitzgerald in 1957. Take the A train. Listen, do you hear them from all of all? 
the Duke would be proud. Linda Delore and uh, featured trumpet solo here was Ted Myers. <laughs> Our next tune is a uh, gorgeous ballad from a uh, really great movie. Uh, it's one of the old black and white, or as my grandchildren would say, gray movies. Uh, <clears throat> from uh, actually 1945, the movie's name was Laura, and you can probably guess what the name of the tune is. It's Laura. Tom Yankee, vocalist on the Laura.
our, uh, our next piece is uh, one of the featured songs in the uh, musical from 1975, A Chorus Line. It's called What I Did for Love. Thank you. 
don't know if we know any Swedish tunes. You want to hum a few bars? Never mind. Never mind. Hey, uh, we've got one more tune for the night, and uh, we uh, really appreciate you uh, spending the time with us tonight. As you can tell, we have a lot of fun. We hope you enjoy yourselves as well. Uh, we look forward to doing this every time, every opportunity we have. Uh, as I mentioned before, we, uh, we do not uh, charge. Uh, we're not getting paid for this. We are getting a little bit of a stipend from the Harwich Cultural Council, but uh, we do have expenses. Some people travel distances. We do try to, you know, uh, bring in some new music. We also have some, try to bring in some additional entertainment. So you'll see our, our little friends on either side of the stage here with their, uh, with their top hats. Uh, any contribution that you would uh, uh, think we're us worthy of, uh, uh, we certainly would appreciate it. Um, I want to take this opportunity to, you know, you've met a lot of the, uh, uh, the musicians tonight, uh, the soloists, but uh, in order to have a band that sounds as full and as good as this, there's a lot of other people uh, that, that, that play it and make a huge contribution. So I'd like to go around and introduce them uh, to you. If you don't mind, you can bear with me for a minute or two. I call here on baritone sax. John Shaw on tenor sax. Jim Corbett on tenor sax. Marge Frith on alto sax. Carl Pearl. Uh, Lori Lang on alto sax. I probably can, don't need to say your name one more time, but Linda Delore. <laughs> Tom Yonke on trombone and vocal. Larry Dickman on trombone, as well as our as what? Excuse me. Resident composer. Yes, yes, absolutely. Who are you? Another guy, Ted Myers. Uh, sometimes he plays here, sometimes he plays there. Ted Myers, I know this. Class clown. Dale Cotter over here on trumpet. Same <laughs> same chorus as uh, with this. Same thing. Uh, okay, uh, wow, punch over there. All the way from Falmouth. This is what I say about people, uh, you know, making an effort to travel for us. Uh, here is Bob Catcher. <laughs> On the keyboard, Mark Borkman. On the guitar, Brian O'Gorman. On percussion and uh, sound system for us, uh, Mike Rodericks. And I am, no name tag again, my name is Jim Stamboni. We are the Sound Doom Sweet Ensemble. We really 